Hello guys, it's me again. Yes, it's me Shraddha and welcome back to Timeline and History to know another fact from the records. So without wasting much time, let's move towards today's significance. It's 4th December and this day is very special in India because this day is celebrated as Navy Day. So firstly, 4th December is celebrated as Navy Day to recognize all the successes, all the victories of Indian Navy towards the country. But there is also one another interesting history behind this day being chosen or recognized as Navy Day. Now we all are well versed, specifically Indians are well versed with the history for 4th December, the Indo-Pak war, war of the year 1971 and uh, out of all the days like every day in a war has its own significance but 4th December is specifically significant or specifically chosen for Navy Day because of the Operation Trident. Now what is Operation Trident is what we are going to know a little bit in this today's fact check. Operation Trident was successfully carried out by Indian Navy sinking four Pakistani vessels including PNS Khyber and hundreds of Pakistani personals. So this operation was conducted on 4th and 5th December night and it inflicted heavy damage on Pakistani port. Literally there was no damage for India but there was a heavy damage like there was a cargo ship which was destroyed, the fuel containment tanks were destroyed so the storage for fuel was also completely destroyed in Pakistan. Also this was a huge loss for Pakistan because uh, this Karachi port where the Pakistani vessels were placed was a maritime trade center for Pakistan. So it was a huge drawback or huge hit back on the Pakistani economy. And due to this success, this success for sinking almost four Pakistani vessels, 4th, day, 4th December is specifically recognized as Navy Day in India to celebrate this success and in the memory of those losses which were uh, which were you know inflicted during the Indo-Pak war 1971. This was the first significance of 4th December. Moving to the second fact check of today's date, today uh, I am going to ask you are you familiar with the name Terry Anderson? If not, let me tell you, Terry Anderson was the American journalist who was kidnapped by Islamic militants. Now, he was kidnapped from Beirut, from the streets of Beirut on 16th March 1985. And he was kidnapped and kept in captivity for almost six and a half years. Uh, this is a very long duration of your life, right? Like six and a half years matters to each and every one, right? And uh, it is said that on 4th December in the year 1991, after almost this long period of time, he was released. Now, can you imagine being held in a dungeon or being captivated in a dungeon for almost six years? Um, it's very scary to even imagine to be away from your family for such a long period of time, right? And uh, later on, to add on to this, I want to say sometimes, you know, journalists go out of their way just to get us the news, to let us know the reality of what is happening around the world. Um, I think my views are right on this. Let me know your views. You can comment and let me know if my views on journalism are right or wrong. So this was the second fact check or second significance of 4th December. Now let's move to the fun section. So when we talk about fun section for 4th December, 4th December is celebrated internationally as a cookie day. So we all know cookies, we all love cookies. Specifically for Indians, cookies are a part of their chai time. So this is a cookie day and uh, this day is also celebrated as fox fur day. Now when I say fox fur, I don't mean F-O-X fox, I mean F-A-U-X fox, which means fake fur. So uh, this is a fa fox fur day and a cookie day. So 
it's a weekend as well enjoy your weekend grab a fox fur with the cookie and enjoy your weekend because it's friday and it's weekend tomorrow uh, to stay updated please hit the bell icon so that you get to know the notifications whenever i upload a video also please like share subscribe my channel and uh, see you in the next week until then take care and bye bye